too, right? I didn't forget anything, did I? I'm all ready for church, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot shoes? Yeah. Okay, well, I got several choices here. I got, I got these. What would those, those be good for? Um, hiking. Oh, hiking. I, or riding a motorcycle. I think that's more fun than hiking. I got these shiny ones. If I was driving the limos, I'd probably wear those. I need some... I need some shoes. I got sandals. That'd be comfortable. I need shoes that are good for running. Which shoes do you think would be the best ones for running? Oh, the, these right here. Okay. Well, I'm glad you chose that. I'll put those on. I'll put those on. The reason I'm glad you chose those is because I think you're right. I think those are the best shoes for running. And we're going to have a race. If you've done that, you pick different shoes, huh? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to race you two. And I hope I win. Now our race is going to start here. Let's go back through the hallway and around through the parking lot and in the front door and back to the step. You get your shoes right. Yeah, get your shoes right. <laughs> I hope. Where are already at? Oh, you get, oh, she's getting her shoes. Okay. Yeah, she's worried about the parking lot. She's concerned about the parking lot. Now, usually, have you ever been told walking feet? Yeah, you've heard that. That's not the first time you've ever heard that. Well, usually we have the rule of no running in church. But everybody else is going to stay in their seats and be our spectators. So this is an exception to the rule. I don't want to see you running the church all the time, but today we're going to. Everybody know the course? We're going to, we're going to run out that, back that door, down the hall, through the fellowship hall, and then through the parking lot and back the front door. You think you're ready? Yeah. All right. Go! Christian, like running a race. You ever heard that? It's all through the Bible. That we're supposed to run a race for God. Isn't that interesting? Because it's hard, right? Sometimes it's, not, it's kind of exciting. It can be kind of exciting. Sometimes it's just exhausting. Yeah. I had to run to close the door. That's what put me behind. What the fact that I'm old and fat and tired. No. Running a race for Jesus. Here's the amazing thing. We're not racing against each other like we just did. We're racing with each other to help each other along. And the, here's the most amazing part of all. Holy Spirit runs with us. God calls us to run a race for him. When does it end? At the end of our life. So everybody out there is running. You can't tell it right now. But they're still running their race. It ends when we end. And then, when you win, you get a prize, right? I should have some ribbons or something or some prizes for you. Our prize is that we get to live with him forever. It's the best prize of all. Now, before we ran, we did some preparation. You went and got your shoes. I went and got my shoes. Because we weren't prepared to run. God wants you to do some preparation as you study his word, as you learn in Sunday school, as you pray, and as you meet with your church people, church family, you learn how to prepare yourselves to run that race better. Isn't that good? We get to train together and run together. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the truth that we don't run alone. And we run with a purpose, knowing that one day all glory will be yours. Run with us. Help those of us who have been running for a while to realize the race isn't over. And help these young precious ones who are 
just beginning their race to realize that nothing else in life will bring them the joy, the satisfaction and peace, but also the sense of accomplishment that comes with living our lives for you and for your kingdom. Amen.